Hey guys, this is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. Hey, <laughs> today we're going to talk about my favorite subject, which is sales. All right, we got a great subject for ourselves today, so let's go ahead and dive right on into it, and let's see what we got going on. Our subject for today is selling and the fear of selling failure. What do you think? I said selling and the fear of selling failure. Hey, listen, a lot of times that's a weird subject, but see, here's the real truth. You know, I've been in sales in one form or capacity since the 80s, and I'm going to tell you what, I have had some failures. Okay. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I told you, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. I tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, and then the warts and all, and all the things that go along with selling, the stuff they just kind of gloss over because they always want to give you the highlights. You're going to make all kinds of money. But see, here's the reality of it. You know, sometimes uh, you're going to find yourself, especially when you first get into sales, you've got a learning curve. Whoop. And you're going to find yourself having to deal with a lot of personalities. You're going to have to deal with a lot of management. You're going to have a rah, 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 rah. And then you're going to have to go out there and sell something. You got to get your feet wet, baby. That means you got to go out there and talk to the folks or call the folks or go door to door or business to business. You got to get out there and do to do the work. But see, what I've learned over my selling career is, you know, you're going to have good days, you're going to have bad days, you're going to have them damn days, you wish you would have stayed up in that bed, because sometimes we have selling failures. Now, selling failures don't mean you give up on selling. That don't mean you give up on the selling career. That don't mean you give up, period. Because see, if you feel in your heart that, hey, listen, I think I might be able to sell something. Congratulations, a little bit fist bump, boom, boom. You got this. You can do anything you put your mind to. That's what my mama always tells me. So in this regard, selling and fear of selling failure, that's one thing that I've learned over my selling career is to put failure behind me. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Now, a lot of times we feel real fear. You know, we thought we're going to fail, man. We did. But what the reality is, if you stick and stay in selling, you're going to have those days where you are going to fail. You're not going to sell stuff, and then you're going to say, well, damn, should I be a real salesman? Yes, you should. You're right where you need to be. Because, see, selling is ebb and flow, ups and downs. It's a numbers game, baby. Numbers, numbers, money, 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 honey. And remember, fear of selling and the failure of it, you should ask yourself, do I really fear selling or do I fear objections? Do I fear people telling me no? You got to look at it, baby, because it's a real good question. Ideas and information come across our desk a lot of times, and we need to write some stuff down and learn from our failures. You know, here's the thing. If you ain't never failed yet, don't worry. You will. <laughs> You're going to have one of them days. You go, Dag, oh, what's going on? I feel like I've done everything right. Little fist bump, boom, boom, you did. You have done everything right. But see, in selling, it's, like I said, ups and downs. Now, remember this one statement. If we don't have bad days and we finally do have a bad day, we probably couldn't deal with it. Oh, no, he didn't. I just did. I just said it. Failure is not the end of everything. You know, I've worked with some companies that were in business for 50 years, 100 years, 75 years, and these businesses went out of business, baby. They failed. But see, I didn't fail. And as a salesperson, we're so valuable that people are biding for our attention now. They want us to come work for them because they got to sell something. So if you find yourself in a situation where you're feeling like a failure because maybe you're not doing as good as you should or you had a bad week, a bad month, that's okay, baby. Stuff happens. I've been there. I've done that, and I don't like those kind of checks because they can be real small when you fail. Now, we work on commission, and a lot of times we work on straight commission. That means if we don't show up and do our best, we may not make no money, honey. And I'm going to tell you what, we got to make the cash flow, baby. And listen to this. Failure is a part of a process. You know, there was a guy that invented the, the, you know, the light bulb. I think they said he failed about a thousand times before he got that thing to working right. And they still had to go through a lot of different things to keep it working right. So in our selling career, if you're just getting into it or if you've been in it for a while, a lot of times we need to learn to go back and make things more simple. 
I have complicated things when I was failing. I wasn't doing real good and I was struggling because sometimes it's all up in the head. Now, if that case, you know, you have to get your little toolbox out, your little selling toolbox, and don't give up on selling. Failure doesn't mean that you're a loser. Failure means that you need to get to the next level. That means you need to try some more, go back to the fundamentals, do the simple things that made you successful in the first place. And if you're a new salesperson and you feel like, hey man, I keep failing, I keep this sales, I don't know why, I keep talking to people, I can't get it done, I don't know what I'm doing, what am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. But what you do need to do is you need to seek those guidance of those people that are successful in the particular sales field that you're in. Get your mentors, talk to your management, tell them how you feel. And don't let your pride keep you from being the best salesperson you can be. Because I'm going to tell you what, I've seen some really good salespeople. They let their pride get in the way. Ah, right here. I've let my pride get in the way, and I failed at something that I may have been very successful at because I didn't ask for help. What? I said, ask for some help. Selling is a great career. And you're going to have failures. You're going to have some products that you may not be real good at selling at. Maybe you have got this product, because I've had some products that I'm going to tell you the truth. Because I told you, I'd tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly, and everything's got to do with selling. I've had some products that I tried to sell, and I was a pure failure. And I felt like a dime's worth of all kind of doo-doo. And it wasn't a good feeling. Remember, our topic for today is selling and the fear of selling failure. Selling failure keeps a lot of people from even trying sales because see, they say to themselves, oh, I can never work on a straight commission. Oh, no, I can't do that. I could never ask anybody, blah, 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 blah. I couldn't ask people to buy stuff because it's just not me. Well, you know what? It probably isn't. But if you haven't told yourself that, you have a chance. You have a chance for success. And remember, it's a, it's a process, guys. It's an ongoing process. I'm always learning. I'm always studying the craft of selling. I'm always going back. I'm reading new materials. I'm always listening to motivational materials. I'm always psyching myself up to be able to close a sale. Now, I ain't going to lie to you. Now, sales ain't that easy. Some days it's going to be real good, and some days it's going to be real bad. But see, selling and the fear of failure... <laughs> That can make you not want to sell. That will change you, take you off your game, and then maybe even quit the career of selling. But don't do it. Don't do it. Wait for the miracle. It will happen. You will find the product that works best for you. Just remember, there's a lot of companies that need people to ask for the order. Did you want to go ahead and get that? And that's funny, right? But see, here's the thing. Selling and fear, it goes kind of hand in hand, you know, but until you break through that fear and get over your fear of knocking on doors, picking up the phone and calling people and dealing with objections and dealing with attitudes and personalities, you got to maintain that, hey, look, I'm going to do everything I can to be successful. Now, if you're a brand new salesperson, this is real good. You need to get this information because selling and the fear of failure, if you keep that in the back of your mind that you're going to fail and you say it to yourself, I can't do this. Oh, man, I can't. You won't. And then you'll fail and then you'll feel rejected and you'll feel dejected and then you'll quit and you'll go back to a regular old mediocre job, man. Where you're making like, you know, your 40 hours a week, making you 10, 15 dollars an hour. And then you're going to say, dang. Five years, ten years from now, I sure wish I would have stayed up in our sales. I might have made a lot of money, honey. And you could have. So don't let fear dictate your future. Because if we do that, then what happens is, is we lose another good salesperson, another person who had the momentum to want to try. Now, you're going to have people out there that's going to say, oh, you don't need that sales job. Those sales jobs suck. You can't. You got to work on commission. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to people who ain't never done it, who failed in their own lives and other capacities. But see, it's like this. See, once you failed, now you have the right to grab a hold and go up, up. Because once you're at the bottom, baby, you can't go no further. You can only go up, 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 up. And I mean, sound something. Now, remember, you're going to have good days and bad days. You're going to have some days you don't sell in the week, and you're going to have your management all over you, and you're going to feel like a failure. But let me tell you what. We ain't failures. You try to get out there, and you try to sell something. I tell you what, it ain't that daggone easy. 
But it takes a personality, a person who's got grit, who don't want to quit, who wants to try to be the best that they can be. And that's you, baby. You know, you can give me permission, and I'll give you permission. We can do anything we put our minds to, but we have to want it. We have to have the passion behind it. We have to have the enthusiasm behind it. And we got to have the attitude and aptitude to want to be successful. Selling is a great career. Like I said, I've been in it a long time. And I enjoy the good, the bad, and the ugly, and all of it. Because, see, selling is a lifestyle. It's a process. And we make the world go around. So if you're in selling and if you're trying to figure out where do I stick and stay, where do I, where do I start, what do I need to do, I got a whole bunch of videos. And there's a lot of other great motivational speakers in selling that can really give you some insight and help. So check them out and give me a little thumbs up and kind of pass this stuff on, especially if you know people that are feeling like failures in selling. Because nobody's a failure. If you try to be a success, if you try to sell, you know, it's a numbers game. You're eventually going to get it. And sometimes it takes a minute. Don't quit before the miracle. Salespeople, we really matter. Like I said, we make the world go around. And without people like you and me to go out there and do stuff that most people, most people can't ask for no order. Most people can't even have a conversation with somebody and say, hey, did you want to go ahead and get that? They're more inclined to go, ah, ah, ah. But see, not you. And just because you might be struggling or maybe you've had some fear about selling, it's okay. Everybody gets it. I get it all the time. I knock on doors all the time. I talk to people all the time, and I still get a little bit of that selling fear. Because, see, everybody wants to be successful. We just don't want to have to deal with the pain when we're not. We don't want to have to deal with the rejection. We don't want to have to deal with the attitudes where people say, no, 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 no. But see, when you're a good salesperson, a great salesperson, or an awesome salesperson like you, you're going to be able to deal with the selling fear, and you're going to also deal with the failures, because you're going to have some. It's just a part of life. If you don't have any failures in life, you probably eventually will, and it'll be devastating. So accept it. God gives us a new day every day, so we got to deal with failures as they come. So to be a successful salesperson, make sure you ask for the order and go out there and sell something. But if you ain't asking for the order, you ain't selling. Our total subject today is, what was it again? Selling and the fear of selling failure. Don't let failure, failure dictate your future, guys. And if you do, get back on the horse and start another sales job. See what out there. Stick and stay, learn your craft, learn your products, and eventually it becomes like old hat, and it's like, dang, I used to have all this fear. Man, I, I had all this failure. But see, eventually you'll get really, really good at it. So give yourself a break. Look, this bump, boop, boop, you got this. So go out there and sell something. And our subject for today, again, was selling and fear of selling failure. Now you've been given permission to overcome your fear just like somebody gave it to me. So go out there and sell something. And remember, selling and fear and f a failure, that's just life, man. I don't care what job you get. You're going to be successful. So go out there and sell something. And don't worry about failing. Because, see, failure, it'll happen. So just let it go. Because what's important this month, two, three months, six months from now, it'll be like, Pfft. Man, damn, I don't believe I was all upset about that. Okay, okay. So go out there and sell something and have a wonderful day. My name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. And we just had a very simple conversation about selling and the fear of selling failure. Failure doesn't mean you're a failure. What it means is you're just going to work a little harder, a little smarter. You're going to ask some good questions, start and do the, the basics, the fundamentals. And you got this. So go out there and sell something and have a wonderful day. God bless you, and you have a wonderful day. All right.